all ready. Let's go. We can't. Your mom's not here yet. This show is so good. I can't take my eyes off the screen. Are you sure my mom's really coming to babysit the kids? Yeah, she said she would. She must be late. Mom, Dad, Dad. This new restaurant is super popular, so I made reservations. Although if we don't get there soon, they may cancel our reservations. Oh. I know. I don't know where she is, and you know she never picks up her cell phone. Oh, she said she would come to babysit the kids. We can't go on our date night romantic dinner without a babysitter. Who's gonna watch Violet? Maybe there's like traffic on the road right now or something. Yeah, yeah. Oof, maybe we should call the landline because you know my mom doesn't really know how to pick up the cell phone. But if you call the home phone and she's home, she'll pick up for sure. Yeah. Hun, I'm way ahead of you. I've been calling the home phone too, but she hasn't picked up. Uh -oh. Maybe they're like late in traffic. <sighs> Hello! Oh, look who's here, my little princess. Are you excited to have fun with Grandma and Grandpa today? Uh, kinda. But can I please just go with you and Mommy, please? Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. Today is not a family day. Mom and Dad are having a date today, a date night. So just us two. Mom, Mom. Huh? Yes, sweetheart. Mom, can I please come with you and Dad? I want to go on a date too. Let's go together. I'm sorry, Violet. Tonight is just Dad and I, okay? But we can do another day with the whole family. It's not fair. I want to come too. How come I don't get to come on a date with you and Dad? Sweetie, sometimes Mom and Dad need our own time together. But you're going to have a lot of fun with Grandma and Grandpa, who hopefully should be here any minute now. And you'll also have your big sister to play with. Uh-uh, count me out, please. Uh, no? Honey, Grandma and Grandpa are older. Just try to help them out, okay? They might get tired if they keep playing with Violet a little bit too much. Why do you need to call Grandma and Grandpa over every time? You know, I'm a teenager now. You can let me babysit, you know, and then you can just pay me. That's what my friend's parents do for them. Yeah, I don't know about that. I've read some horror stories from the internet, and I've heard some horror stories from my friends of their kids bringing boys over or throwing a big party. Mom, have some trust in me. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to babysit Violet. You should trust me. I'm at the age where I can be the babysitter. You don't have to call Grandma and Grandpa. Uh, yeah, but that's a little risky. I don't want to come home to a house full of boys or your friends or a big party or a big mess. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Come on, Mom. It's so unfair. I'm at an age now where I totally can babysit Violet and you can just pay me. I need the extra money anyways because I'm out of allowance money already. Please, let me babysit. Ugh, I can't stand the phone. It always has to ring whenever I'm in the middle of an important discussion with my mom. Hello? Yes? Oh, hey, Grandma. Are you coming? Because Mom's been waiting for you by the door. Ugh, is that your Grandma and Grandpa? Are they on their way? Are they coming? What's wrong? Is everything okay? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh. So, you're still at home right now? Uh-huh. You're, you're not going to be able to make it? Uh-huh. Why? <gasps> oh, no. Really? What? What's happening? What is Grandma or Grandpa saying? Oh, my God. Both of you? I can't believe this. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Really? Wow. Grandma, you need to lay in bed and rest. And you don't want to risk it. Uh-huh. Yeah, of course. I'll tell mom and dad for you. Uh-huh. Tell grandpa I tell him to rest too, okay? Miss Royale, sweetheart, tell me what's happening. Oh, the anticipation. What is grandma and grandpa saying? Are they not going to be able to make it? Are they not coming? So grandpa fell down earlier today, so his legs really hurt and he's in bed resting. And grandma thinks that she has COVID. Oh my god, what? Oh, that's horrible. Are they okay? You know what? 
why don't we get our things and go visit them right now? What, Grandma? Oh, I was just telling Mom. Yeah? Oh, do you want to speak with her? Okay, hold on. Grandma wants to speak with you. Hi, Mom, are you okay? Oh my gosh. Are you really sure you don't need us to come over? Uh-huh. Oh, good. Danica's with you? Oh, thank goodness. Are you resting? Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Rest then, Mom. Bye. So did Grandma say we don't have to go over to visit her? Are you sure, Gram? Uh-huh. Okay. Well, just get some rest then. Oh, I'm so sorry, babe. But don't worry. Your sister's there. Yeah, but I'm still worried. See, I had a gut feeling something was wrong. I knew something was wrong. Okay, get lots of rest. I'll talk to you later. Mwah. Love you, Grandma, Grandpa. Bye. So does that mean that you and Mom are not going to go on your date anymore? Are we going to go to Grandma's house now? My sister and her whole family are there right now, so my mom said that we shouldn't come. The house is already crowded and chaotic as is. Oh yeah, and we should also let them rest as well. We can visit your parents tomorrow. Uh, tonight though, what we can do is go on that date night of ours since I made reservations for the best restaurant in town. We don't have a babysitter though. I can babysit! Over here! I can babysit! Come on mom, let me babysit. I'll charge a cheap rate of only 10 bucks an hour. Or $5 an hour. I don't know about this. I think our daughter is at a good age where she's able to babysit. Really? What if she throws a party while we're out? Or if she invites a bunch of boys over? Honey, I think we've taught our daughter better than that. Right, sweetheart? Yes, of course. Please, please, let me babysit. I promise there will be no parties, I'll have no one over, and there will definitely be no boys. No boys will be allowed inside this house. Definitely no boys are allowed, but also no girls are allowed either. So I don't want you inviting any of your girlfriends over. I don't want the house of being a mess. Sure, sure, I won't invite anyone over. I will not have any of my girlfriends over. Just let me babysit Violet, please. Ugh, I don't want to do this, but it looks like I have no choice. We're out of options for tonight. I guess we're going to have to let my daughter babysit. Fine, sweetheart. I guess we have a deal. It'll be $5 an hour. You'll babysit your little sister Violet until we get back. Yay! This is my first job! Woo -woo! Of course! I got it! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! But let me give you a warning. If you invite anyone over, boys or girls, or throw a party or a mess, you're going to be in trouble. I know, I know, of course. I will not call any of my friends. I will have no one over and I will just stay home with Violet. Woohoo! That means date night is still on. Woo -hoo -hoo. Come on, honey. Let's go before they cancel our reservations. I can't wait to eat at this restaurant. There's leftover in the fridge that you can microwave or you can make your sister and yourself a sandwich for dinner. And if the home phone rings, pick up the home phone. I will call just to make sure that you and your sister are home. Got it, got it, I know. I will pick up the phone if you call. No, Daddy, don't go. No, I don't want to stay home with Big Sister by myself. No! If you let Mom and Dad go to their date and let me babysit you, then I'll let you eat ice cream for dinner, and you can have some chips and cookies later. <gasps> really? I can have ice cream for dinner? Oh, gee whiz. Okay, bye, Daddy, bye, Mom. Have a lot of fun. Works every time. Hey, looks like Violet changed her mind, so you guys have fun now. Bye! If you need us for anything, give us a call and don't leave the house. Honey, I think she knows all this. Come on, we really need to go. Oh, what else do I need to tell her? Nothing. Bye, Mommy. Bye, Daddy. Have fun on your date night. Because <laughs> I'm going to get to stay home and eat all the ice cream for dinner I want. Why are they still standing there? Why are they still not leaving? Oh my gosh, I hope mom's not changing her mind. Come on, dad, convince her. Just go already. Don't come back. Ugh. Are they not going anymore? Oh, they're leaving. They're leaving. Sweet. Yay, they're gone. Oh, dad convinced mom. And now we have the house to ourselves. Uh, I was drawing earlier and I didn't get to finish my drawings. 
I'm gonna draw a big nice house. <laughs> and this is our house, and this is our neighbors. Our house is bigger than our neighbors, and it's pretty. Where's the remote? Okay, let's see what's on TV. <sighs> ah, this is the life. TV and the entire house to myself. Ooh, is this a new show? Ah, uh, now I'm getting my yellow crayon. When mom and dad comes back, I'm gonna give them this drawing. Oh, I gotta keep a flower too, because we have a lot of flowers outside. Ah, <sighs> yo, babysitting is easy. I don't know why mom didn't trust me to babysit Violet earlier. I mean, this is a piece of cake. I could totally do this. And I don't even need to call any of my friends. Oh, 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 something's vibrating in my pants. Is that my phone? Oh, someone's calling me. Oh, let me grab my phone here from my pockets. Almost forgot I put it in here. Oh, my phone is ringing. It's Skate Boss. Hey girl, what's up? Oh yeah? Huh? Really? What? There's a surprise party? Where? <gasps> no way! Is it a big party? Oh man, I can't go because I gotta babysit my little sister at home tonight. <gasps> oh my god! You guys are gonna have so much fun. I am literally so jealous. Uh-huh. What? Her parents went out of town? So her parents don't know she's throwing a surprise party? Wow. Nah, sorry, I can't come tonight. I gotta babysit my little sister. My parents are also out for tonight too. Okay. Okay, have fun. Bye. Oh, that's too bad. It looks like all my friends are going to a party and I have to stay home and babysit my little sister Violet here. <laughs> it's so unfair. <sighs> I was excited to babysit earlier, but now I'm totally jealous. I'm missing out on the party. Ugh, whatever. I'm kind of lazy today anyways. I don't even want to get up to get dressed today. <sighs> I just will watch TV all day. The show's pretty good. I don't know why I've never seen it before. The What's sushi that? at this restaurant is really fresh. Yum. Watch your step, honey. Okay, we're here. No peeking, <laughs> not we? yet. Whoa, look at that. Okay, we can stand right here. We've arrived at the restaurant. Oh gosh, can I take off the blindfolds now? What's the surprise? Where did you take me, hun? It's one of the most popular restaurants right now. It was hard to get reservations. Alright, let me take off your blindfold and show you where we are. Yes, please. I'm so curious. I wonder where you took me. Okay, let's remove your blindfold. Oh, oh man, I may have tied this hair. a bit too tight earlier. Here, here, here. Okay, you're free. Here, okay. let me take the blindfold for you, honey. Where are we? <gasps> wow, what a beautiful restaurant. Oh, let me chop some more avocados and cucumbers. And I'll make a few more sushi rolls here. Mom, can I eat the dessert pastries first? No, sweetheart. You have to eat dinner first. Thank you so much for waiting. Here's the menu. And here's your sencha tea. Wow, Mom, look at that. There's so many food on there. And it just keeps spinning around and around. Mmm, the sushi here is so fresh. The shrimp is delicious. This is called a conveyor belt sushi. We can order from the menu or we can grab anything we want and just bring it to our table. Surprise! I know it's a little late, but I wanted to surprise you for a belated birthday. This restaurant serves the best and freshest sushi in town. And I know how much you love sushi. Oh, it's the popular sushi restaurant that I've been telling you about. Yeah, and you've been wanting to come here for a while now, but it's been so hard to get reservations. And now, we're finally here! Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're at the sushi restaurant that I really wanted to try, except I can't eat sushi right now because I'm pregnant. Isn't this the best, honey? Aren't you excited? You don't really look that excited. I mean, don't you love sushi? Yeah, I do love sushi and raw food, but I'm pregnant. 
I was trying to take tonight's opportunity to tell my husband that I'm pregnant, but then he brings me to a sushi restaurant. Oh my gosh, I can't eat sushi right now. Because raw seafood is technically not recommended for pregnant women. Uh -oh. Honey? Honey? Uh, yes? Are you okay? You don't look very excited. I thought you loved sushi. Did you not feel like sushi today? No, no, I'm very excited. It's just, you know, I'm just surprised that we're finally here. Yay! I know, right? It was really hard to get reservations here. But I know how much you love sushi and how much you've been wanting to try at this restaurant, so I booked it months in advance for us. Uh-huh, I did say that I wanted to eat here a few months ago. I do remember. That's so sweet of you. Yeah, and I wanted it to be a major surprise, so I pretended like I forgot about it, but here we are! Surprise, babe! Mm-hmm. Yep, it's definitely a huge, huge surprise! Uh, thank you! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is one of those times where I don't like surprises, and normally I love all of my husband's surprises, but not so much today. Oh, a new customer. Hi there, my name is Busy Baby and I will be your server. Um, do you have reservations for tonight? Because our restaurant is fully booked up. There won't be a table without reservations. Hi there, yes, we did make reservations. I mean, because this place is so popular and all, we actually waited a few months. Uh, reservations should be under my name uh, for Ryan. Uh, Ryan, Ryan. Okay, let me just check my list here. We are fully booked tonight. Oh, yes, I do see you here. Ryan uh, for two. Oh, perfect. Your table is ready and you are right on time. We love punctuality. Um, we have your table just right here. Is this a special occasion? Are you celebrating anything tonight, such as an anniversary or a birthday? Uh, we do try to accommodate all of our customers, especially if you have a celebration going on. Oh honey, the reviews online says this restaurant yeah? really celebrates other people's like special anniversary or birthdays. Uh, today is my wife's birthday dinner. What? It's not my birthday anymore, hun. My birthday was like a month ago, and we were too busy back then to do anything for my birthday. Yeah, and I felt so bad for not celebrating your birthday. You know, we may be celebrating it late, but we will definitely celebrate your birthday tonight. Oh, that is so sweet. Okay, so it's a birthday dinner for you, ma'am. We will definitely keep that in mind as we do a lot of birthday celebrations for our customers. <laughs> Honey, you're so sweet, but my birthday is a month ago. It's already past. No nonsense. It's never too late to celebrate a belated birthday. It's okay. It's okay. Don't mind my husband. Tonight is not my birthday. My birthday was a month ago, and we were too busy with our kids to do anything for my birthday. It's too late. Tonight, we're just really having a uh, dinner date night. Very well, ma'am. It's a birthday date night dinner. Your seat is ready as you requested to have like a beautiful window seat. We got you one of the best seats with one of the best views in our restaurant right here. Whoa, yes, this is exactly what I was hoping for. The best and most romantic seat for our date night birthday dinner. Oh, the view is so pretty. Here honey, let me pull the chair out for you. I will be right back with the menu and also some tea for you. Is Sencha tea okay? Yeah, that sounds great. Okay, I'll be right back, ma'am. Wow, everything looks so good and we haven't been out to dinner as a family for so long, so let's enjoy tonight. Mom, mom, did I tell you that I'm the captain of the football team now and I can really do a tackle and I can run really fast. See, nobody can catch me when I run and I got the ball and then I just run to the goal and no one can catch me. Oh my gosh, Jake, I told you not to run in the restaurant. Yeah, he's always running back and forth everywhere. It's so annoying. You should have just sit down and stay put already. Oh my goodness, oh dear, oh my. Did I put my feet out too far? Oh, oh dear, are you okay, young gentleman? Oh my. Here, let me help you up. Are you okay? Good thing you're wearing a helmet. Yeah, because I'm the captain of the football team. 
and normally when I run, nobody can catch me. I kind of fell on my head a little bit there, but it wasn't too hard. Good thing I got a helmet on. That's why we always wear our helmet and we never take it off. It's safety first in football. Oh yes, thank goodness that you had your helmet on. Uh, maybe you shouldn't be running in a restaurant, young man. But uh, I'm glad you're okay. Uh, where's your seat? Hi sir, sorry, sorry, that's my little brother. I'm so sorry to bother you. Uh -oh. Come on Jake, come here. Sorry about that. <laughs> he likes to run around. It's okay. Kids will be kids. Just make sure that he stays safe now. Come on Jake, get back to our table already. Oh my gosh, Jake, we're having dinner right now. It's not a football game. Can you just please take off your helmet? No way! A football player never takes off his helmet. You gotta wear your helmet, otherwise you'll get hurt. And I didn't get hurt earlier, even when I fell, because I was wearing this helmet. Your big sister's right, honey. We're having dinner right now. It's not a football game. Please take off your helmet. You can put it back on again after dinner. But, but, but mom, a football player never takes off his helmet. It's for safety. Jake, how are you going to eat with your helmet on? Please, it's not a football game right now. Football players need to eat too, right? And you can't eat with your helmet on. Please take off your helmet. After you're done dinner, then I promise you can put your helmet back on. Oh, but mom, I don't want to take off my helmet. I can eat just fine wearing my helmet like this. Please, please. I, come on, Jake, just take off your helmet so we can start eating dinner. You can wear it on later. If you wear it on too much, you might hurt your neck because it's so heavy. Oh, no. Fine, I'll take off my helmet. They are happy, but as soon as we're done dinner, I'm going to put my helmet back on again because a football player can never not wear a helmet. Yeah, but just FYI, not all football players wear a helmet 24-7, you know. People don't wear helmets all the time. You can take it off when you're eating and sleeping, Mr. Football Captain Star. That's because they're not the best of the best. I'm gonna be the best football player in the whole wide world. That's why I gotta wear a helmet and play football all the time. If you wanna be a pro football player, you're gonna have to grow up to be strong and fast. And that means you're gonna need food. You can't wear a helmet and eat a lot. It's too uncomfortable. You wanna be strong and fast, right? Hi there, coming through with tea. Hi, excuse me, excuse me. Hi, here is your Sencha tea. It's our most popular tea in-house. I'll just put it on the table here for you, ma'am and sir. And, oh no, I forgot your menu. I'm so sorry. I'll be right back with the menus for you. Mom, mom, check it out. Today in karate class, I learned how to do a flip and a punch. Uh -oh. Let me show you. Wah, wah. See, look. Hiya! Hmm, this tea looks good. I love tea. Ah, wow. I can do a hey. punch, ha. See? Look, I can do a real fast punch. That was a close one. Uh -oh. Jacob, you almost kicked my cup and spilled my tea. And it was such delicious tea too. Be careful. Can you just please sit down? Stop doing karate stuff. We're eating. Whoopsie, sorry. I'm still working on my kick. I I I'll show you later when we get home then. Hi, ma'am. Hi, sir. I am so sorry to keep you waiting. Here is the menu. We have two different menus. Please have a look. We have a few specials going on tonight, like a seafood boat platter special. Um, and also, if you don't want to order from the menu, you can also feel free to go right over there, over to the conveyor belt. Our chef makes all of the sushi nice and fresh. You can grab anything you like and bring it over to your table. 
and eat that way. Oh, uh, okay, thanks. Ooh, ooh. Ah. Oh, wow, look at this menu. There's so many things to pick from. Mm. Ooh, ooh. Ah. Oh, this tea. Ooh, ooh. Ah, so good. Okay, wow, the menu looks beautiful too. I don't know what to pick. What are you in the mood for, hun? I feel like we need to order something special for tonight. Uh-huh, I think you should pick your own stuff and I'll pick my own. Uh, wow, so many sushi rolls and I can't eat sushi right now. Um, don't know what I'm gonna order. Uh, I can't have raw food since I'm pregnant. Oh goodness, what am I going to do? Almost everything on this menu is raw seafood and I shouldn't be eating that right now. Um, I guess I can have some dessert and soup. Are you ready for me to take your order, sir, ma'am? I think everything looks so good and it's our first time here. We're going to need about 5 minutes um, to look at the menu, please. Oh, of course. Please take your time. If you have any questions, please ask me. I'll be back in 5 minutes. Uh, I can't have that. I can't have that. That is raw shrimp. Yep, definitely can't have that. Doctor says that when you're pregnant, you're not really supposed to eat raw seafood or anything raw. I guess I can have some soup and dessert. Oh, okay, okay I guess I'll have that. Honey, do you know what you want? Everything looks so good. Why don't we get the big platter where it has all the special sushi? Oh, no. Um, you go ahead, hun. You order what you want. I I'll order what I want. I think we'll order separately for tonight instead of sharing. Hi there, ma'am. Um, are you ready? I'm here to take your order. My name is Busy Baby. Do you know what you may want? Yes, I think we're ready. I'll order for my brothers and I. Um, I think we'll have a Tobiko sushi roll and a wild salmon roll. Um, and also... We'll take the train special here. Oh, those are some excellent choices. They're very popular at our restaurant. And then we're also going to have a shrimp roll um, and also a wagyu roll, please. Oh, wow, the wagyu roll is super expensive. Oh, are we having Japanese wagyu beef sushi? That's the most bestest beef. Mm, I'm hungry just thinking about it. I can eat the table. Oh, our Wagyu rolls are super famous here because we use the best beef. Perfect, and I guess I can have um, also some veggies too. So maybe hmm, I'll also get two cucumber rolls and avocado rolls. We also have salmon sashimi roll on a boat special. Did you want to try that? Mm, no, it's okay. I think we already have the wild salmon. That should be good enough for us. Uh, that should be everything. Okay, no problem. Let me grab back the menu here. Thank you so much. Okay, so we have the boat special and a few rolls. I think I remember everything. I will be right back. Hey, hey, look. I can balance on my head. Take that cup off, Jack. You're gonna spill water everywhere. Nah, -uh, I bet you can do this. Yeah, I can. Oh, jeez, not you too. Take the cups off. You're gonna spill it. Oh, oh, oh! Ah, you dropped your cup. <laughs> See, I can balance mine. Oh! Whoopsie! <laughs> you dropped yours too. Oh my god, Jake, Jack! Oh, you splashed me everywhere. And you have water everywhere now. See? Don't say I didn't tell you so. I said you guys were gonna spill the cup and water everywhere. And look what happened. So predictable. Oopsies! Yeah, whoopsies! Sorry! Oh my gosh, you guys! This is why we never get to go eat out anywhere because you guys always cause trouble! Oh no, is everyone okay? Don't worry. I'll have this cleaned up right now. We'll just wipe the table. It's just a bit of a spill. No problem at all. I am so sorry about that. Uh, my brothers tend to be quite naughty sometimes. <laughs> That's okay. Here, let me pour some more tea in your cup for you. And I think the other cup as well, because you spilled both the cups. Oh good, a tea refill. Thank you so much about that, and sorry for the inconvenience. Boys, 
What do you say? Sorry, I, I didn't mean to spill it. Yeah, me too. But, but, it was technically my brother's idea, not mine. Hey, that's not fair. Don't throw me under the bus. Yeah, it wasn't my idea. Hey! <laughs> Your brothers are so funny. Uh, no, funny isn't the word. Like, they drive me crazy. <sighs> Having triplets is tough. Thank you so much for that, miss. And I am so sorry again for inconveniencing you. Thanks for cleaning it up for us. No problem at all. You're very welcome. Okay, I'll be right back with your food. Yo, can you guys, like, please behave? This is why we never get to eat out at nice restaurants anymore. Oh, no. Because you guys are always causing trouble. Just sit still and eat so we can have a nice dinner. Sorry. I didn't mean to. It wasn't even my idea to begin with. Yeah, but you're the one that spilled your cup first. I only spill mine because you spilled yours first. Now I, you were going to spill yours. Boys, 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 it doesn't matter. No more fighting, please. Please sit down and eat dinner like little gentlemen. Hi, thank you so much for waiting. Here is your train. This is a really nice big train. The sushi is delicious. I'll put it at the center of the table. There you go. Is there anything else that I can also get you as well today? Wow, the train looks so cool. Yeah, look at all this sushi. Mmm, yum. So much food, I don't even know which to eat first. I know what I want. I want to eat this shrimp roll first. Mmm. Whoa, hon, look, the table next to us ordered the train. I was going to order us that, but it's pretty expensive. But look, it's so cool looking. Maybe we should order the specials. Mmm, since they got the train, maybe we should try the platter and the boat. Uh, the boat has some fish and sashimi and the platter is all raw food. Uh, I can't eat any of that. Um, you go ahead, hun. Okay, sure. Hi there. Um, are you ready for me to take your order, ma'am, sir? Um, did you know what you want? Did you have any questions? Um, are you ready now for me to take your order? Um, yes, I think we're ready. I think I'll have a miso soup and um, maybe like a cantaloupe. <laughs> oh my, uh, okay. Um, is there anything else that you want, ma'am? Miso soup is kind of small. And you're just eating it with a dessert. It might not be filling enough for you for dinner. Um, no, no, that's okay. I think I should be good with that. Just a miso soup and the fruit dessert, please. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow, babe, is that all you're having? Are you, like, on a diet or something? Um, as for me, I'll have the boat special and also the uh, sushi sashimi platter special. Um, and I think I should try a few rolls as well. Which do you recommend? Oh, how about this one? No, no, maybe... No, no, I'll have number two. Um, yeah, give me that roll as well, please. Okay, very well. Let me take back the menu. Thank you so much. I will be right back with your um, food, ma'am, sir. Mmm, it's really good. Mm -hmm. And nothing beats eating and reading. Two of my favorite things to do. Um, can you please put down your book? You know you're not allowed to read books during dinner time. It's the rule. Just like Jake isn't allowed to wear a helmet. Oh, no. Okay, fine, I'll put my book down already. You don't have to be set to know it all, you know. Okay, food tastes better this way, anyway. Mm -hmm. Yum, this tastes so good. Mm -hmm. Hey, we should have a competition. Uh -oh. I bet you that I can eat the sushi faster and more. Hey, I'm gonna eat all of this mm -hmm. faster than you. No, uh -oh. mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat more sushi, and I'm gonna eat faster than you. No, you're not. I'm almost done this. Too slow. I'm the fastest. See, I ate all my shrimp roll. Oh my goodness. Can you three please chew your food and eat slowly? Remember the last time when you ate way too fast and you had a stomach ache? 
and we had to wait in the emergency room hospital for hours? Yes, your sister's right, dear. Please chew your food and eat slowly. We are not having a sushi competition. I'm gonna try this then. Mmm! Wow, the sushi is really fresh. That's so good. Oh, what else should I try? Okay, I'll try some veggie rolls. Gotta eat my veggie. Mmm! 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 Mom, you gotta try the vegetable rolls. They're really fresh as well. Wow, I guess we ate almost all of our sushi really fast. Do you wanna try the vegetable rolls, Mom? Shh, there, there, shh. Oh no, did someone wake up extra grumpy? No, sweetheart, you can eat it. I have to take care of your little sister here. She woke up a little grumpy. Okay, don't mind if I do. Mmm, oh, so good. Mm. We're almost done all of our sushi rolls. Oh, I'm so full too. Sushi can be quite filling even though it looks small. Oh hey, we ate so fast that we didn't even dip our sushi into anything. Uh -oh. There's this sauce that we're supposed to dip the sushi in. Whoops. Hey, hey. Psst, psst, psst. I think we should play a prank. Put some of that in the tea. It'll be funny. <laughs> Put it in the cup. Whoever drinks it is gonna get a surprise. <laughs> oh wait, don't put it in just one cup. Put it in both the cups, the other cup too. Ha, okay. <laughs> I put a lot in the other cup. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun prank. I'm thirsty, but those two keep looking at this cup and giggling. I smell something extra fishy going on. I better not drink then. Mmm, that sushi was so good, but now I'm, I'm thirsty. I gotta wash it down with some tea. Mmm, I'm finished chewing. Okay. Jelly bean? Why is it so salty? <laughs> Did you see that? She coughed it out. <laughs> that was so funny. It must have been really salty. Hmm, <laughs> Jake, Jack? Did you put something in my tea? <gasps> you put soy sauce, didn't you? Mom! Jake and Jack put soy sauce in my tea and then when I drank it, I almost choked. It was super salty. They're playing like their stupid pranks that they always play again. Mom! Jake, Jack, what did we talk about? No pranks, especially when it comes to food. Now, what do you say? Uh-oh. I'm really sorry. Sorry, we were just bored and we were just having a bit of fun. Sorry. Not to me, you two. You didn't do it to me. Who do you say sorry to? I'm sorry, big sister. I'm sorry, icy girl. I won't do it again. Hey, yeah, me too. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, fine, whatever. Just sit down already. Oh, my brothers are always so much trouble whenever we're eating dinner together. Whoa, look at all of our sushi rolls. Oh, yes, and all of your sushi roll, because I only got a miso soup and a fruit platter. Here is your boat special. This is the fresh sashimi salmon roll and fish. Mackerel grilled fish. Here's your boat. Whoa, look at that, honey. Oh, I can't believe I ordered all of this. You can have some. No, no, it's okay. You go on right ahead. I'm good with my miso soup here. Really? Are you sure? I have a lot of food here that I can share. You don't seem to have a lot of food. Ma'am, did you want me to get you the menu again? Or did you want to order anything else? I can bring you more food. Oh, no, no, I'm okay. I think this um, miso soup and this uh, cantaloupe would be just enough. Whoa, yikes, it looks like I've been slacking off a little because there's not much food left. I gotta make more. Uh, wow, we have a lot of empty spots here in the conveyor belt. 
Whoopsies. Okay, let me chop up some more avocado, some cucumbers, and some more uh, sushi. I gotta make more rolls. Otherwise, I'm gonna get in trouble with the boss. Oh, 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 gotta quickly chop up some veggies and make more sushi rolls for the customer. If you change your mind, you can grab anything you want. I may have ordered a little bit too much, but it all looks so good. Okay, let me try it. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, delicious. Mm. So fresh. Even the wasabi is in-house. Mm, yum. Mm. Mm. We gotta really come back to this restaurant. Yeah, we definitely want to come back. Maybe in like a year. <laughs> that was really good miso soup. But why is this bowl so small? I finished it all. <laughs> How's your food, babe? They look delicious. I wish I could eat them, but I can't. Oh, all this sushi looks so good. Well, if you want some, just grab anything you want. Uh, I ordered a bit too much. We can share. No, it's okay. I got my uh, cantaloupe here. <laughs> I'll just eat this. Mm, and savor it. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I am still hungry. I wish that there was more food that wasn't like raw food. <sighs> oh man, that was quick. I already finished this already. <sighs> oh, whoa, I totally dozed off there. How long was I asleep? Oh, it's a different show on TV now. <sighs> How long was I asleep? Ugh, that show earlier was so boring that I accidentally fell asleep. Whoa, it's dark outside. I must have been asleep for a while. Oh my gosh, Violet! I have to be watching my little sister Violet. Violet? Oh good, she's still drawing. It's pretty easy to babysit Violet actually. Hey, Miss Royale! Miss Royale, open the door! Miss Royale! Oh gosh, am I missing my friends so much that I'm starting to hear their voice? It's like I hear Skate Boss and Punk Girl calling my name right now. <sighs> this must be another dream. Miss Royale, come on, open the door! <laughs> open the door! Hello, hello, Miss Royale! Man, I am hearing things right now. Uh, big sister, it looks like someone's at the door. Are those your friends? Uh oh. Huh? What? Oh my gosh! Skate boss? Wait, why are they even here? Aren't they supposed to be at the big party? Oh my gosh, what should I do? I'm not allowed to have anyone over, but my friends are here at my house now. Sorry, you can't come in. Can mommy said that big sister is not allowed to have any of our friends over. So bye bye. Hey guys, what are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at the party? Oh, I love your party outfit, but why are you here? <laughs> My life is over. <laughs> Yo, open the door. Open the door. Oh my gosh, why is punk girl crying? What's wrong? Uh, should I open the door? I know I'm not supposed to have any friends over, but... <laughs> I can't not not open the door since Punk Girl is crying. And I don't know why she's crying and why they're at my house right now when they're supposed to be at the big party. Okay, hold on. Alright, I'll open the door for you guys, but just for a little bit. Since I'm really not allowed to have anyone over. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, what? What? Slow down. I, I can't understand what you're saying. Yo, we need to get in. It's freezing outside. Oh, okay, come in. And close the door behind you too since it's late, so it's kind of cold. <sighs> oh my god, girl, we walked all the way over here in the cold. Why didn't you let us in earlier? <laughs> Um, what? Uh, sorry, uh, what are you saying, punk girl? I, I can't make out what you're saying. 
Slow down. What happened? Why are you guys here? Aren't you supposed to be at the party? Oh my god, girlfriend, do I have the tea for you? Hey, you're breaking the promise you made with mommy earlier. She said you're not allowed to have any of your friends over. You're gonna get in big trouble when mom finds out. Hey, technically, I didn't invite any of my friends over. They kind of came over by themselves and I can't not not let them in. It's cold outside and my friend's crying. Um, I guess this is a hard one because it's true. You didn't invite them over. They came over by themselves. Time is over? This, this is the worst day of my life. Don't say that. No, it's not. I can't believe I was so excited to go to the party and then... <laughs> oh my goodness, the one night that you forgot to use waterproof mascara and you're crying. Do I uh, bad? You have like mascara running all down your face, girl. No. Yikes. Yo, are you gonna give me the tea or what? Why is she crying? What happened? I saw him. I saw him with my own eyes. I can't even deny it. <laughs> Saw who? What's going on? What's happened? Come on, give me the tea! So apparently, Pump Girl went to grab some drinks and when she came back, she caught her boyfriend kissing another girl. <gasps> no way! <gasps> Rocker Boy cheated on Pump Girl? What? They are such a cute couple, the whole school knows that they're a couple. And he chose to cheat on her? Are you sure this is not a miscommunication? Because Rocker Boy was really into you. I mean, he's always been really into you. Are you sure? Yeah, I saw it with my own eyes. He, he, he was kissing another girl while I went to grab some drinks. Yeah, I saw it too. We went to grab something to drink together, and when we came back, he was kissing Swag. I drew you a picture to make you feel better. See? Is a fairy godmother. <laughs> oh, really? For me? Oh, thank you. That's sweet. At daycare, I'm the best at drawing. My teacher always says my drawing's really pretty. Oh, look at this fairy. It is really pretty. For me? Are you sure? Thank you so much. Oh, you're so sweet, Violet. And I can definitely use a fairy godmother right now. So do you feel better? Uh, yes, thank you. It's a very beautiful drawing. <laughs> I love it. I've honestly had such a bad night tonight, but this drawing definitely makes me feel a lot better. Even though my boyfriend cheated on me, and it was almost our one month anniversary. Girl, you need tissue. Yikes, your mascara is running all over your face. Here, grab a tissue. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> You know, I was so shocked because I thought we would be together forever. I even had a dream about marrying him. <laughs> like I legit thought we would get married. <laughs> I even dreamt that we were getting married. Like the dream was so real, you guys. We had like a wedding and everything. <laughs> and like we were gonna be husband and wife. It all happened like this in my dream. This veil here is beautiful, but I'm just gonna iron it to make it perfect. We'll spray some water first before we begin ironing. Go to make sure there's no wrinkles and that it is nice and straight. Okay, almost done here. And now for the edges, because it's a very nice long veil. It takes a lot of work to iron the whole thing and make it look perfect. I can't believe today is my daughter Punk Girl's wedding day. It was just yesterday when she was still playing in the playground. In any case, we have a schedule to stick to everyone. Let's hurry up and get ready. Beautiful veil is ready, darling. Oh, it's just so pretty. And I can't wait to see you wear this dress with your veil. Oh, this dress is stunning. Just reminds me of my very own wedding dress. Except the back part of this wedding dress is very long. I just love how long the train is. Oh, so beautiful, so beautiful. Of course it's beautiful. 
I could have fixed the car or maybe even bought a new car with the price we paid for that dress. I never knew that wedding dresses cost so much and I never knew how much it cost to have a wedding. I can't believe we have three daughters. Next will be chillax and then next will be sleepy bones. Oh, think of the cost. Think of the cost. Oh, honey, nothing but the best for our sweet daughters. And besides, don't you remember when we got married how much our wedding cost to make it perfect? Oh yes, I remember all right. I believe I'm still paying for some of that wedding today even on my credit card. Oh, come on, Dad. Think about it this way. I'm only gonna get married once. It's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. That's why I want it to be perfect. I don't want to be a bridezilla or anything, but today has to go perfectly. I want to be the most beautiful bride ever. <laughs> and I want Rocker Boy to fall in love with me all over again as soon as he sees me in my wedding dress. <laughs> Wait, before we go, we gotta feed the new puppies. They must be hungry. Who wants some puppy food? I'll pour you guys some in your bowl. Eat up, eat up puppies. Whenever they're eating. <laughs> Thanks, Bestie and my maid of honor, Kitty K, for coming over and helping me out with my makeup for my wedding today. Oh, but can you please give me waterproof eyeshadow and mascara in case I cry later? You're very welcome, Bestie. Thanks for letting me be your maid of honor, and I'll make sure to do your makeup perfectly today. So, first we gotta pick which eyeshadow to go with. I think we should do something that really pops like this pink one here. Oh yeah, this looks so pretty on you. And now for the other side. And really give it the cat eye. Oh, that looks so cute. You look so pretty. Really? Thanks! And next, we gotta give you some blush here. You don't wanna look like a ghost, so we're gonna put on some blush and make your cheeks nice and rosy. Is it even? Yup, looks even, looking good. And of course, we can't forget about the lipstick. This is one of my favorite shades. Now, pluck your mouth together like mwah, like that. Like this, mwah, mwah, mwah. perfect. Oh, I love this shade. This perfume is called Happily Ever After by MGA. It's one of my favorite. So I thought it would be perfect to use for today. Happily ever after? Oh, why, that's just like me. Yeah, right? I thought it matched the wedding theme. And smells really good. Okay, time to zip up my makeup bag here. And I'll carry my makeup bag with me today because you're gonna need makeup touch-up throughout your entire wedding. If you cry, or if you get too emotional, or later if you need more lipstick, I'll be there to help you out. Yay, then I don't have to worry about my makeup not being perfect all night. Oh, Kitty K, you are the bestest friend ever. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Oh, can't breathe. You're very welcome. <sighs> Let me breathe, please. <laughs> oh no, Daisy took my shoe, Mommy. Uh, give me back my shoe, Daisy. Cinnamon, bad boy, bad, bad boy, not my flowers. This is the third time that you've done this this week. Oh, my poor favorite vase. Bad boy, Cinnamon, you are a bad, bad boy. That's a no, no, no. Oh, how could you discipline this vase? He's so cute. I know I shouldn't be spoiling you like this, but you are just so cute. Just don't play with my flowers again, okay, Cinnamon? Dear, now I'm going to have to clean all of this up. Thank goodness we have some time before the wedding. But we need to really hurry because we have a very tight schedule today, everyone. <sighs> Let me go clean up this space. <laughs> oh no, Spot, look what you did. My newspaper, I haven't even read it yet. These puppies really need to start puppy training soon. Look at this. Oh, my newspaper is ruined. I can't read. 
read anything this way, not to mention, ew, gross, disgusting. These puppies need to get properly trained soon and go to puppy school, and we need to find them their forever home. Well, it's been a very busy month for us. We've been so busy with Punk Girl's wedding that we haven't had time. But after the wedding, we can find these precious babies a new forever home. Yoo-hoo! The bridesmaid is here! Check out my dress! Isn't it pretty? I can't believe my big sister Punk Girl is getting married today! How exciting! And also, I can't wait to get to the party venue because I'm gonna dance the night away! Except, oh, I'm hungry right now. We've been getting ready all morning that I haven't eaten anything yet. I think I need to have at least a bag of cookies. Since the wedding reception isn't until this evening, I think I'm gonna need to have at least something in my stomach. Like this delicious. What? what? Hey, my cookie! No fair, puppy! Okay, well, I'll just get another one. And. Hey! Hey! That's mine! Not again! <sighs> These puppies, where are they coming from? Okay, I'll just get another one. Okay, this one get into my mouth here. Yeah. Hey, wait, no, no! That, that's my cookie! Hey, 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 I just get more. Hey! trouble today. <laughs> oh, come on, chillax. They're just puppies. Just let them go for today since it is my wedding day. <laughs> oh, these puppies are so cute. I wish I could have a puppy at home too, but my cat, he's not very friendly. He only likes other cats. Oh, by the way, he's gonna be at your wedding. I think my mom brought him. Yeah, the puppies are really cute, but they're really naughty. Our dog Lucy here went over to the neighbor's house and made puppies with the neighbor's dog. And because we've been so busy with my wedding that we haven't had time to find these puppies their forever home. But I'm glad Lucy is getting extra time to spend with her little babies. Oh, look at the time! We have a tight schedule today, so you better get changed into your wedding dress, pump girl. Oh, right! I do need to get changed. Perfect, I can't wait to wear this. Okay, okay, is everything in place? Oh, I gotta make sure Kitty K's cats are dressed and the bouquet is ready for the bride. And here is the piano for DJ to play music. We need the food, the cake, and all the decorations to be in place. Okay, all the chairs are lined up for the guests. I can't believe today is my big brother Rocker Boy's wedding with Punk Girl. And I'm the officiant. Hey guys, if you want to see more of my toy videos, then please give me a like, like, like. Hey guys, have you guys subscribed? Subscribe now to become a VIP member. Press that subscribe button and ring the bell. That way when a video is released, you'll be the first to watch it. Oh my dolly, you've done such a wonderful job, darling. Everything looks beautiful. What a lovely idea it is to have a beach wedding today. The weather is lovely. Oh, it's really sunny though. Okay, we better go get a seat. Oh, perfect, that's what. Right in the shade, oh yes. I think we're here, little sister. This is where the wedding ceremony is gonna be. OMG! Wow, the decorations are so pretty. When I grow up, I wanna have a wedding like this too. Oh, hey, major lady. Hey, little lady. You guys are right on time, I love that. Oh, if you have any gifts for the bride and groom, you can leave it over there on that table. Okay, we can put our gifts here. We came early because we want the best seats. Let's go find the best seat before people start coming. Oh yeah, feel free to sit wherever you want except the front chairs because those chairs are reserved for the bride and the groom's families. Oh, okay, for sure. Let's go sit there, sir. Heels are so hard to walk on the beach, but wow, how cute is this wedding venue? Okay, where do we put our gifts? Oh, oh big sister, look at the cake. It's so pretty. Best part about going to a wedding is to get to eat some delicious cake. Because I don't like sitting listening to the ceremony. They're always so boring. <laughs> well, 
Well, little sister, you can have as much cake as you want if you behave during the wedding ceremony, and that means being quiet and sitting still. Hey guys, welcome to Rocker Boy and Punk Girl's wedding. If you have any gifts for the bride and the groom, you can put it over there on that table. Oh, so there's the gift table. Looks like someone came before us. Ooh, those flowers look so nice. Okay, we better put our gift over there too. Set our gift down gently. Okay, now let's go grab a seat. We can get a really good seat so that you won't get bored because you can watch the bride and the groom. Oh yeah, I really want to see the bride's dress. Okay, let's go grab a seat. <gasps> this is the prettiest wedding I have ever been to. Look at this. I hope our wedding in the near future will be just like this too. Um, yeah, right. <gasps> This wedding must have cost a fortune. Just look at how big and nice their cake is. When we get married, I'm going to invite everybody in town and I want our wedding to be just as big as this or if not even bigger. Actually, no, I want a bigger, bigger, bigger wedding. Oh, I can't wait for a wedding. Oh, and well, look at all those gifts over there. We can drop our gifts over there as well. She's going to love what we gave her. Oh, good thing it's not rainy today, but it's really sunny. I don't know if I can see the bride and the groom with the sun in my eye. Let's try to go find a good seat with some shade. Otherwise, it's going to be really hot. As much as I love beach weddings, I really don't like to sit out in the sun for the entire time of the ceremony. It could be really hot. Hey y'all, the party has arrived. Oh, oh, so sunny, so sunny today. Oh, hey Dolly. Hi DJ, perfect timing. Here, I'll take the gift for you. That way you can go get ready at, over there at the DJ table. We got everything set up for you. You got your own microphone, your piano, a nice table and a chair. Uh, just go check it out. Perfect, I hope you have some music sheets too because I forgot those at home. Okay, what do we have here? Microphone, hello, hello. Oh, gonna adjust it. Hello, testing, testing. Gonna adjust it a little more. Hello, hello, testing. Perfect. And the piano, everything works. Perfecto. I love this table. And there's also some music sheets as well, in case I forget how to play the song. Party, yeah, woohoo! We're here to party. I can't believe our bro, Rocker Boy, is getting married today. Yeah, we're gonna dance all night. Party! Ahem. I know you guys are my big brother's bestest friend and you guys always like to have fun. But during the ceremony, you really have to be quiet and you can't be like this, okay? Oh yeah, we know. We'll be super quiet. Yeah, you won't even hear us at all. We'll party quietly. Instead of partying, we'll just party. Party, whoa. See, you can barely Oh, let's go catch get a seat. <laughs> I spy with my little eye. Cake! It's such a big cake. And since no one is looking, maybe I can just have a little taste. Oh, where's Molly? I hope she's not causing trouble somewhere. Molly? <gasps> Molly, no, 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 no. Don't touch the cake, Molly. No! Oh, that frosting looks good. Cake, cake, cake. I'll just have a little bit of frosting. Ah, Molly, no, little sister. Oh, golly, my Molly, little sister. You can be so naughty sometimes. Whew, that was a close one. You can't take a taste of the cake, okay? The cake is for the bride and the groom. Come on, let's get you seated with mom and dad. Hi, everyone. It's almost time for the wedding ceremony. So if you're not seated yet, then please go find yourself a comfortable and empty seat and enjoy the ceremony. Hello. How do I look, everyone? It was really hard to get into this dress because the train is so long. But I love it and I think I look beautiful. Whoa, big sister, you look like a princess. I can't wait to see Rocker Boy's reaction when he sees you in this dress later. Oh, is this the dress that we chose when we went to the bridal shop? It's even prettier on you today than ever. Oh, my baby, all grown up and getting married. I need to take some pictures. Oh. So pretty. Oh, my baby girl. It was just yesterday when you were in my arms and crying and out a diaper. And look at you today in your wedding dress. Oh, you look absolutely beautiful. 
Oh, that is my little princess, all right. You are always going to be my little princess and daddy's little girl. This dress is worth every penny. Aw, thanks, dad. You're the bestest daddy any girl could ever dreamed of and wished for. You look really pretty, big sister. I want to have a wedding dress like this someday, too. Except not with that thing on the dress. It looks like one of the puppy. Um, that's the big boo-boo. No! Oh, dear. Oh, golly, my mom. Oh, no. The wedding dress is ruined. Ah! My dress, my dress. Oh, no. How am I going to go to my wedding like this? I can't believe I have you on my wedding dress. It's okay, big sister. It's okay. Don't panic. I have cleaning supplies here. All we have to do is we'll spray this on and then we'll scrub it off. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Spray some of this on and then all we have to do is scrub it off. And how is it? Is it coming off? <sighs> Even if it comes off, it still smells. Ew. It didn't come off and it's smudged. Now it's even bigger. It's even worse now and it smells. I can't go to my wedding like this. My wedding is over. I'm not getting married to Rocker Boy. My life is ruined. Thanks for trying to help chillax, but I think it made it worse. <laughs> oh my. Oopsie doodles. I thought that was gonna help, but now the stain is even bigger. I can't go to my wedding now. I have a stinky wedding dress and it's brown and not white anymore. I'm just gonna spend my life alone as an old lonely lady. <laughs> hmm. Think, 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 kitty K. Think, think, think. Oh, I have the perfect solution. Don't worry, don't worry. Since I'm the maid of honor, I'm going to fix everything. I got a plan. What we can do is, I have a scissor in my bag here. We can just cut off that part. I'm really good at cutting stuff, don't worry. What? You want to cut off part of my wedding dress? Uh, yeah, but I'll try to make it look nice. Don't worry, I do this all the time with my stage outfits. I'm really good at de redesigning and cutting stuff. Here, let me show you. Besides, you don't want to go to your wedding with this dress. We'll just cut it up, cut this part off. So this back on, change this, oh, and cut this. Okay, and we'll just cut this part off too because ew, gross, gross, gross. Ta-da! So I cut off the yucky part and I sewed back on some lace and redesigned your dress to make it match. It's not perfect, but I didn't really have a lot of time, so what do you think? Do you like this new wedding dress? <gasps> Whoa, it looks like a completely different dress. and. I can't believe you managed to fix it. I love this dress. I think it's even better than the old one. It's so punk. The wedding is back on, everyone. We can go to the wedding now. Yay! Thank you so much, Kitty K. Do you guys like watching these long full doll movies? If you like the full movies, then press the like button right now. Like, like, like! <gasps> that was a close one. You're very welcome. I honestly don't know what I would have done without you today. You're the bestest maid of honor and bestie ever. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, oh you look beautiful even in this wedding dress, darling. I can't believe you did this, Kitty K. You're so talented. Are we going to go to the wedding soon? Because I'm still going to put on my other shoe. It's kind of hard. <laughs> The shoes are so high. How am I going to get this other shoe? <laughs> wow, I love that dress. By the way, what time is the wedding ceremony? Are we supposed to leave soon? <gasps> the wedding ceremony started 20 minutes ago. We are so late for the wedding. Do you guys want to see Punk Girl and Rocker Boy's wedding ceremony? If you do, then make sure to give this video a like, like, like right now, guys. Okay, looks like all of the guests are seated. Okay, we'll sit here. Oh, this is a good seat. Great, looks like everyone is seated. Hi, my name is Dolly and I am Rocker Boy's little sister. I'm also going to be the officiant for today's wedding ceremony. And also introducing our very own DJ, who is also going to be today's DJ. And next, we'll introduce the groom, my big brother, Rocker Boy. Cue music, DJ. Right, got it. Way ahead of you, girlfriend. Gonna play the music for Rocker Boy to walk down the aisle. 
love wedding music. <clears throat> oh, looks like it's time. Here I go. Hi everyone. Hi. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks for coming to our wedding. I'm Rocker Boy, the groom. Hello. Perfect. Now that the groom is here, we will begin the ceremony. Time to introduce the bride. Her father will be walking her down the aisle. Here is the bride and her father. Oh, uh, where's the bride? I don't see her. <laughs> it looks like the bride must be a little late for the ceremony, which is normal because girls gotta do their makeup. Um, let's do this again. Introduce the bride again. Uh, we'll start over. We'll start over. DJ, can you please play the music again, please? Here is the bride and her father. Okay, I will play that song again. She's still not here. Whoa, whoa, what's happening? Did he get stood up by the bride? Does that mean there's not gonna be a wedding party to dance to? Yo, it's so embarrassing. Where's his bride? Maybe she's not coming. Um, maybe um she just didn't hear that introduction or the music this time either. You know, the ocean waves and the seagulls can be very noisy. Can we start over? Can we play the music again? Uh, this time, make it louder, please. <laughs> okay, uh, let's do that again. Play the music again, please, DJ. And here is the bride and her father. What? Play it again? This is like the third time. Wait, play it loud? Uh, are you guys sure? Okay, I'm gonna play it really loud. The bride should be able to hear this because I'm playing it really loud. the bride anywhere. Maybe she ran away and she's not coming anymore. <gasps> this is such an interesting wedding. That would be so embarrassing for Rocker Boy. OMG, where is Punk Girl? <laughs> uh, we're gonna take a five minute break. Uh, BRB, be right back. Uh, big brother, where's your bride? Is she still coming? Everyone's staring at us and I can't see the bride anywhere. This is so embarrassing. Is she running away from the wedding? Running away from the wedding? What? At least I don't think so. We're really in love. Uh, she never told me that she's not going to be coming to our wedding. I don't know where she is though. Uh, what's going on? Our poor son, Rocker Boy, is just standing there waiting for the bride. I thought the ceremony was supposed to begin 30 minutes ago. If the bride doesn't come, do we still get to eat cake? Yes, I, I mean no. I, I mean yes. I mean no, the, the bride will come honey. And yes, you can get some cake afterwards. Here comes the bride and her father. Okay, I guess I'll play the song again and again. Where's the bride? Right, for boy. OMG, is there not gonna be a wedding today after all? Something just does not feel right. Well, if you look over there, the bride's family hasn't arrived yet. Their entire seat is empty. Oh yes, no one's here yet for the wedding. Oh, this is bad, this is bad. I don't know where Punk Girl is and everyone's looking at me. <laughs> everyone's looking at us, this is so embarrassing. I don't know what to do, Big Brother. Um, sorry everyone, we, we don't know what's happening. We are having some technical difficulties here. Um, we don't know where the bride is. We have a runaway bride today. <laughs> oh no, Lucy, Lucy, come back. This is not the time and place. Oh, looks like the dog has gotten loose again. We need to get her back, everyone. Oh dear, 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 we are running late today. We need to hurry and get to the wedding ceremony. Okay, everyone, we have to head out. Oh dear, dear, Kitty K, what should we do? Lucy has gone loose. What time is it, dear? Are we okay on time or how late are we? Oh, I can check my watch. Let's see. Oh dear! Oh, we really need to go, everyone. It looks like the ceremony has already started. We're already late. We need to go ASAP. Hey, introducing the beautiful bride. Hi, Hi how do I look? 
Okay, let me get my dress out the door. Oh, I'm so glad it's not rainy today. The perfect day for a beautiful beach wedding ceremony. Coming, coming. Okay, let's get into the van, everyone. We have a wedding to attend. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. It's uh, so hard to walk. Oh, oh my goodness, sleepy bones, darling. Are you all right, dear? Oh, dear, dear, dear. Are you sure you want to wear those high heel shoes? Do you want to change into something different? No, no, mommy. I want to wear these shoes. That way I look taller and then I can sit at the big girl's table. I want to wear these shoes. Yeah, but you can't even walk in those shoes, Sleepy Bones. Why don't you wear something that you can dance in? Otherwise, you're just going to fall all night. And even if you wear different type of shoes, it doesn't change the fact that you're still just a kitty. I'm not a little kid. I'm not a kitty. Stop calling me that, big sister. I can walk in these shoes. See? See? I'm walking. I can walk too. Ah! I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. See, I can walk in these shoes. Sure you can. You literally just fell right in front of my face. <sighs> no, sister, you never listen. You're going to regret this. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's my wedding day today. Can you guys try to please get along and not fight on my big day? Not fight. Not fight. Nah, -uh. uh uh, not possible. Nope, not possible. Just because little sister always started it. No, I don't. You started it. Nah, -uh, you did. Nah, -uh. girls, girls, girls. This is not the time and place to be fighting, please. Everybody, you need to hurry up and get into the car. And somebody please try to help us catch Lucy. <sighs> Those two girls, they cannot spend a day without fighting. Lucy, come here, girl. Gotcha. Okay, I got Lucy, everyone. I'm just gonna get her inside. Come on, Lucy. Time to go into the dream house. Back inside you go. Oh, Kitty Kate, thank you, darling. What would we have done without you today? You finally caught Lucy. And goodness gracious, let me lock and close the door before she gets out again. Okay, everyone, into the van we go. Come on, folks, chop, chop. Let's all get in. We have to hurry. Okay, how are we going to do the seating arrangements? Chillax and Sleepy Bones, why don't you girls sit over there in the back so that your big sister can sit in the front with her best friend, Kitty K? Uh, can I sit with big sister Punker instead of big sister Chillax? Punko is a way nicer big sister. Oh, excuse me, for Christmas I'm asking for a nicer little sister. Come on, let's get into the van. Okay. I'll get in first so that the bride punk girl will have more room with her big wedding dress. Oh, good idea. Thanks, Kitty K. Let me just get in here. Oh, get my dress in. Oh, Mom, help. I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, let's get this dress off the floor and into the van here. Oh, that, that piece down there too, Mom. I got it, I got it. Your dress will be in the van, dear. Okay, there we go. The whole entire wedding dress is inside the van. Now we can start heading to the wedding ceremony. Close the door and get into my seat. All ready to go, honey. Perfect. Is everyone seated? Everybody got their seatbelts on because we have a wedding to drive to. We're a little bit late, but don't worry. Since we're driving there, I'll try to drive a little bit faster, but safely. And we'll get there in no time. Okay, let me turn the car on and turn around here. Oh, oh the house is so close. I don't want to hit our dream house. Okay, backing up, and now we can go forward. Here we go! Oh, uh, oh dear, what's wrong? Oh, come on car, what is the problem? Oh, is something the matter? It looks like the car has broken down. Oh, not on a day like this. How are we going to get to the wedding ceremony now? Hey guys, have you guys subscribed? Subscribe now to become a VIP member. Press that subscribe button and ring the bell. That way when a video is released, you'll be the first to watch it. Oh, I should have known this Barbie car van of mine has been giving me problems for the past week. Come on, van. Oh dear, 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 what are we going to do? Looks like our Barbie van is broken. It's just not going. Oh, if the van is broken and it just won't drive anymore, 
we're not going to go to the wedding? Is the wedding canceled then? Does that mean I won't get cake? I even wore a pretty dress. Oh, why is this happening to me? Cancel? No way! I've been waiting for this day since forever. No, no, no. This cannot be happening. I am going to run to the wedding ceremony even if I have to run the whole way there. <laughs> this was supposed to be my perfect day. <laughs> Why is it like this? But no, I can't give up now. My fiancé and husband-to-be rocker boy is waiting for me. I am going to pull my dress up and run to the wedding ceremony. Okay, pull it up. Rocker boy, wait for me. I'm coming. <laughs> so hard to run with a wedding dress. Oh my, like OMG and LOL, we have a runaway bride. What's this? <gasps> oh no, it looks like Punk Girl also dropped her veil. I guess we're running to the wedding ceremony then. I'm coming, girl. Uh, so, wifey, what do we do now? Well, I guess there's only one thing to do. We're going to have to run to the wedding ceremony. I am not missing my eldest daughter's wedding. Oh, so hard to run in high heels. Oh, wifey, don't run without me. Wait for me, I'm coming too. I have paid way too much for this wedding for it to be cancelled on me now. And besides, the deposit for the wedding venue is non-refundable. And a father always has to walk his daughter down the aisle. So, I am coming to the wedding no matter what. Here I come, wait for me ladies, I'm gonna run there too! Whoa, wait, what's happening? We're, we're not driving there anymore? Oh man! Well, let me close and lock the van at least! OMG, this is gonna be such a memorable wedding! I can't believe this is happening! Mommy, Daddy, I'm coming, I'm coming! <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, are you okay little sister? Here, let me help you up! I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah, I don't think you can run with those shoes on, so I'm just gonna carry you and go. Oh, I'm sorry about earlier about saying you're not a nice big sister. You really are. Thanks, little sister. You're not so bad yourself. Now, come on, let's go to the wedding so that we can party tonight and have a lot of fun. Okay, sounds good to me. I can't wait. Let's go. Alright, let's go, little sister. I'll carry you. Wait, I'm here. I'm here. I just had to run all the way here. I'm here. Wait for me. I'm the bride. I'm the bride. Oh, <gasps> that's my bride. That's my bride. Punk girl, she's here. Oh, oh yes. She didn't run away after all. <gasps> what happened to Punk Girl? <laughs> Your bride friend is funny. Did she run here? Uh, sorry, I'm late, everyone. Uh, I, I'm the bride. Uh, we, we can begin the wedding once I catch my breath. Punk Girl, you made it. I was so worried. Are you okay? What happened? Oh, you would not believe my day. First, I got into my wedding dress and I was so excited. And then the dog went potty on my wedding dress and afterwards the van broke down so I had to run all the way here but I honestly would not miss our wedding for anything as long as you're here my love I'm ready to get married let's get married <sighs> Dolly thank you so much for waiting I am so sorry for the inconvenience but you can start the wedding ceremony now I'm here oh um <clears throat> okay <laughs> hi ladies and gentlemen looks like the bride has arrived so we'll start the ceremony if there's no objection. Wait, no, stop! I object! Oh, no, wait now! JK, why do you object? Aren't you the maid of honor to the bride? Uh, yes, and that's why I object. I can't let my bestie BFF get married when she's looking like that. She's all sweaty and she doesn't even have her veil on. Oh, no, 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 punk girl. As your maid of honor, I can't let you get married like this. Good thing I carried my makeup bag and ran after you. Plus, you drop your veil and I have it right here. Now, let's refresh your makeup and put on your veil. Okay, what should I get? Let's powder all that sweat off. You need to redo your powder, girl. <gasps> Thanks, Kitty K. Of course, no bride of mine is going to be getting married all sweaty. And we gotta retouch your makeup. You can't get married looking this way. Okay, that looks much better. Oh, but of course, we gotta put on some lipstick again. Now go like that. Perfect. Okay, the bride is ready for the wedding ceremony. She can get married now. Close my makeup bag here. Okay, what a long day. 
We're gonna start the wedding ceremony now if there's no more objections. Oh no, 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 stop, stop, stop! I'm the father of the bride and I haven't walked my daughter down the aisle yet. I am mother of the bride and it looks like her little sister, Sleepy Bones and Chillax are not here yet. We cannot have the ceremony unless all the family members are here. Uh, we're here, we're here. Hi, everyone. I can't believe I carried Sleepy Bones all the way here. Let's go get seated. Oh, it looks like the whole family's here. Sorry, everyone. Now we can begin the wedding ceremony. Since I'm the father, I have to walk my daughter down the aisle. I guess we'll have the wedding ceremony right now, except we'll start over again. <laughs> oh, Dad, are you crying? No, there's just sand in my eyes. <laughs> Dad? Oh. You're a big girl now. I hope you'll be happy forever. I can't believe I'm giving my little baby girl away. Aw, oh, Daddy. We are gathered here today to celebrate the union of Punk Girl and Rocker Boy. Do you, Punk Girl, take Rocker Boy here to be your husband in sickness or in health? Yes, 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 of course I do. And do you, Big Brother, I, I mean Rocker Boy, take Punk Girl here to be your wife? in good times and in bad times forever and ever and ever and to live happily ever after yes i do i knew we were meant to be from the first time i saw her in school which we have a movie about that in case you guys haven't watched it yet oh yes great i pronounce you husband and wife rocker boy and punk girl wifey you look absolutely stunning today Oh, and you look very handsome, my husband. And now you may kiss the bride. Woo, yay! Kiss the bride, kiss the bride. Ew. Aw. Okay, here goes. Mwah. Ew, cooties. Can we eat cake now? Aw, am I blushing? Don't worry, I'm blushing too. Thank you everyone for coming today to our wedding. Yes, thank you everyone. Now it's time to head to the wedding reception. Meet you guys there. The bride and the groom are going to be heading to the wedding reception on a scooter. And we'll all head over there and that's where the party will be at. But before that, we're gonna be doing the bouquet toss. All you ladies out there, don't miss out. Try to catch the flower. Whoever catches it will be the next bride and will be extra lucky today. Okay, are you on, dear? Yes. All right, let's head out. See you later. We're gonna party over there at the party reception area. Bye, guys. Good catch. <laughs> who caught it? Who caught it? OMG. I guess you'll be the next bride. <laughs> There's the bouquet. Help me catch it, little sister. Okay, okay, I'll catch it. Oh, 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 I got it, I got it. Huh? It landed on my lap. Looks like I caught the bouquet. Sister, big sister, look, look, look. Of all the ladies and girls here, you caught the bouquet, little sister. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I was so close. It literally bounced off my hands. <laughs> well, maybe next time, honey. Maybe next time. Whatever. I don't need a bouquet. We're still going to have a big wedding. Huh? Oh. <laughs> that was what happened in my dream. <laughs> And now it's over. Ew, yikes. How many tissues is she gonna use? I think she used up all the tissue in the tissue box. Maybe this is meant to be, you know? If he doesn't know your worth, then honestly, he doesn't deserve you. Yeah, but, 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 but. No buts. You know, once a cheater, always a cheater. Don't worry, we're here for you and we're gonna make sure to help you get over him. So he was kissing Swag? That's such a shocker. I never knew he would be into Swag. They don't seem like they have anything in common. And I can't believe Swag would do this. And this whole time, I thought Swag was into Prince B. I can't believe she had me fooled. Uh -oh. So she was into Rocker Boy all along, even though he already had a girlfriend? Like, yikes! Um, big sister, I think the phone 
phone is ringing. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's my mom. Oh my gosh, what if she hears you guys? Ah! Shh, shh, be really quiet. Okay, I'll try my best. <laughs> oh my god, be really quiet, you guys. I gotta pick up the phone because my mom is calling. Ah. Hi, mom. <laughs> hey, how was your dinner? How was your date? Mm -hmm. Oh, are you done already? You're coming back? <laughs> and he had to kiss her in front of me. <laughs> And uh, probably everybody <laughs> saw. Uh, nothing, nothing. It's just the TV in the background. <laughs> I'm watching like a soap opera. <laughs> no, no, of course no one's over. Yeah, it's just the TV, mom. Um, what? What's that sound? Um, uh, I, I, I think it's a horn from outside, like a car horn or something. Yo, what the jelly beans? Can you like stop blowing your nose? My mom's on the phone and you're gonna get me in trouble. I'm actually not allowed to have anyone over at my house right now. Shh, be quiet, okay? Um, hey mom. So yeah, okay, well I'll see you soon. Drive safely. But, you know, drive slowly. You don't have to be home too soon. Ugh, gets me so mad. Ugh. I can't believe he did this to you in front of everyone and ruined your entire night. We were supposed to have the time of our life tonight, the best night ever, and here we are crying over a boy. Oh, it just makes me so mad. I hate, hate cheaters. I know, I was just too embarrassed to stay at the party too. Thanks for coming here with me. <laughs> <gasps> you lie! You tell mom no one's over! Your nose is gonna grow like Pinocchio's! Yeah, I'm not a wooden boy, okay? And we're gonna keep this a secret. When mom and dad comes home, you're not gonna tell them that we had my friends over. Got it? Uh -oh. If you tell them, then no ice cream for dinner. Anyways, shh, be quiet. I'm gonna talk to mom. Hi mom! <laughs> Sorry about that. I just turned the TV down so that we can talk. Uh-huh. Okay. See you soon. Uh-huh. But, 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 there's no rush. Just drive slowly. You don't want to get into an accident. Okay. Bye, Mom. Love you. Oh, my gosh, you guys. My mom and dad just finished their dinner date, and they're actually on their way home soon. What do I do? What do I do? I can't kick my friend out when she's crying, but my parents are on their way home and mom said I'm not allowed to have friends over, so I am going to get in big trouble if she finds out. Why don't we do a shopping spree to feel better tomorrow? <laughs> she's still crying, big sister. So actually, since we're here at dinner, there's been something I've been meaning to tell you. It's very important news. Oh really? Yeah, sure. I'm all ears. What is it, babe? Okay, so the big news is Oh, whose puppy is this? Are you lost, little guy? He's so cute. Oh, what is it? What do you want, huh? Oh, he's so cute. Do you want a pet? Oh no, this is our boss's dog. His name is Tamako. And he is kind of like an employee here. He helps take the plate. He's asking you to give him some plates. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, Tamako. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. A dog working at a sushi restaurant? Ah, adorable. He wants some plates. What's he gonna do with them? Here, I got an empty plate here. You want this, boy? Uh-oh. Okay, there you go. Oh, that's so cute. He took the plate in his mouth and now he's running off with it. He's really like a little server here. Oh, what a cute trained dog. There. <laughs> that dog is so smart. 
amazing. Just amazing. So you might want to sit down for this. It's pretty big news. So when I was in the hospital visiting my sister, um, I found out. Oh yeah, you were at the hospital. Your sister was in a car accident, right? I hope they're okay now and they feel better. Um, yeah, what happened? Yeah, well, see, when I was at the hospital visiting my sister, before I visited my sister in her hospital room, I found out... <coughs> found uh, out... Oh, gosh, uh, the dog just came out of nowhere. Um, are you lost? Oh, uh, do, do you want a plate? <coughs> okay, okay, you can take this plate. Here you go. Sorry, babe, we got interrupted, but seriously, that dog is so cute. Oh, oh well, Mom, look, that dog, he's still working. That is so cool. When we get a dog, we gotta train our dog to be able to do that. Um, anyways, I'm sorry, babe, were, were you telling me something? Yes, yes, um, uh, where was I? Right, so I was at the hospital and I found out... Here it is, this is the birthday table. We always celebrate all of our customers' birthday and all the staff sings happy birthday to the customer. All right, one, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Oh, oh my gosh, um, oh, thank you so much. That was such a surprise, but you, you really didn't have to. Oh man. It seems like every time I'm trying to tell my husband that I'm pregnant, we just keep getting interrupted. Um, thank you, thank you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, this is so much fun. Everyone's singing. The table next to us, it's someone's birthday. We should sing along too. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Restaurants. This is so much fun. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Congratulations. Happy birthday. We wish you the happiest and best birthday. <laughs> that was so much fun. It's my birthday too. Let's sing that song and do it again. Uh, what? Did you forget your birthday? Today is not your birthday. Maybe it's not your birthday, but today is my birthday. No, it's not, okay? We're triplets. We all share the same birthday. Your birthday is my birthday, and my birthday is your birthday. Ooh, happy birthday, babe. Oh, I almost forgot I told the server today's your birthday. That was so much fun that they sang to us. Not only that, we also have flan cake to celebrate your birthday. This is on the house, free of charge. Here you go, enjoy. Flan is a happy Japanese cake that we eat to make us happy. Thanks again for coming to our restaurant. Happy birthday. Oh wow, thank you so much. Flan cake on the house, that's so sweet of you. No wonder this restaurant gets so many good reviews. Yay, we're just glad that you like it. Let me know if you need anything else. Happy birthday again, bye. Wow, even the chef came out from the kitchen to sing happy birthday. That was so much fun. Um, right, yes, it's a lot of fun, um, but uh, we gotta go back. I was trying to tell you the big news. So anyways, um, I found out. And I'm thirsty now. <laughs> oh, what the? Hey, whoa, why is the tea so salty? Maybe I imagined it. I'll drink again. Maybe it's my imagination. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, the tea is super salty. Oh, right. We put soy sauce in the teacups earlier. 
Oh, oh what is this? <laughs> oh my goodness. Honey, are you okay? Oh dear. Oh my goodness. Wear some napkins. Oh, I'm all wet now. <gasps> oh my gosh. Honey. Here, here. Let me wipe you off, babe. Oh, you got all wet. Gross. Okay, there you go. Oh, much better. Thanks, honey. Oh, who sprayed the water in my face? Ooh. I'm so sorry about that, sir, my little brother. Uh, I'll have a talk with him. Oh, uh, wow, that was super unexpected. And I think he spat water in my face twice. Oh, oh I guess kids will be kids. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry, sir. My son, he's being a little bit naughty today. You know what they say, terrible force. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's all right, it's all right. I have kids of my own too, so I totally understand. It's okay. <clears throat> Jack, what do you say to the gentleman there for spitting water and tea in his face? Uh, sorry? I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to. It just, I was surprised because it was really salty. It's okay. It's okay. That's okay. I wiped it off. We're good. We're good. I just need to eat some more sushi to feel better. Good thing the sushi didn't get wet. Mm. Mm. Yum. Oh. Mm. Anyways, babe. Uh, sorry. Were you telling me something? Uh, yes. We seem to be interrupted a lot tonight. Anyways, as I was saying, when I was at the hospital, I had a checkup and I found out... Hey, why don't we play frisbee with these plates? Here, catch! Ha! Ha I caught it! Here, catch! Ha! Ha ha! That's fun! Throw it farther! Ha! Ha ha! I can throw it even farther than that! Ready? Here you go! Ha! Ha ha ha! I can throw it super far because I'm a football player. Ha! Whoa! <gasps> oh my gosh, where did that flying plate come from? Oh my, honey, honey, are you okay? Oh, is it just me or there are a lot of birds? Uh-oh, you threw that a bit too far. It hit that man there. Whoopsie. Guys, you hit the customer, you hit the man over there with a the plate. A plate is not a frisbee, you two. It's very dangerous. Oh my god. Honey, honey, are you okay? Is there any doctor in the house? Honey, are you okay? Uh-huh, yeah. I've never been better. <gasps> Do we need to take you to a hospital? What if you have like a concussion or something? Mom, it looks like that man might need your help. Don't worry. My mommy is a doctor. Mom, maybe you can help him. Oh man, those boys threw a plate like a frisbee and it hit that man. Good thing that these plates are plastic, but he still might have a bit a, of a concussion. Don't worry, don't worry. My name is Elsa and I am a doctor. I can help out here. I can't believe you threw that plate around like it was a frisbee. Look at that. Now you hit that man over there and he might be hurt. You two are in big, big trouble. It wasn't me. It was Jake. Jake threw that plate. Uh -uh. Okay, fine. Maybe I did, but you told me to throw it farther. Don't worry, sir. I'm a doctor, so let me just check your head here. We're just going to do a few tests, okay? So just follow my hand. Okay. Oh, oh. Uh, like this? Yes, yes, very good. Uh, I have no problem. I think I'm starting to feel better. Okay, very good. I don't feel any bumps. I think it was just a light hit. I think I'm uh, feeling okay now. Okay, but if you do feel a little dizzy or you have a headache or anything, please come by to the hospital at the ER and we'll give you a checkup. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, doctor. Good thing that these plates are made of plastic. Oh, thank goodness that you are here, doctor. That makes me feel better, but definitely I'll take him to the ER if he starts having any symptoms. Hmm, do I know you from somewhere? Hmm, you do look a little familiar too. It's like I've seen you recently, right? Let me think. Oh, I remember now. You're the lady. 
Yes, yes, I remember you were the doctor that gave me the ultrasound at the hospital. I remember it's Dr. Dr. Elsa, right? I saw you at the hospital the other day. Yes, yes, that was me. Oh, I do remember you. You were the patient who had the ultrasound for the pregnancy. Oh, is this your husband? Oh, are you two celebrating your pregnancy? Are you celebrating that you're having triplets? Uh, wh what? S -s Say what now? Who's pregnant? A and who is having triplets? Oh my goodness, I've been trying to tell my husband all night, but I haven't had a chance to tell him the news yet. <laughs> Wait, you look shocked, sir. You don't know that your wife is pregnant with triplets yet? Uh, did I just give out the news? Oh my, oh goodness. What? We are having triplets? My wife is pregnant? Huh? What is going on here? I've actually been trying to tell him all night the news, but we keep getting interrupted. He doesn't know that I'm pregnant and that we're having triplets yet. Oh no, did I just give out the news? I am so sorry, sir. I thought you had already known that your wife is pregnant and that you were having triplets. Um, I am so sorry. Am I dreaming this? What is going on? What's happening? Is what she's saying true, honey? Yes, so about that, that's what I've been trying to tell you all night. See, when I was at the hospital, I found out I was pregnant. It all happened like this. Hi there, welcome back to the ER. Hi doctor. Oh, I am feeling so nervous. I hear that you have the results on why I've been feeling so nauseous and sick. That's correct. I called you back because we have your lab results. We do know why you've been feeling sick and nauseous lately. Uh, are you ready to find out? Yes! Oh my god, yes! A hundred, a thousand times, yes! I have no idea why I've been peeing so much at night and why I've been feeling so nauseous. And between you and I, my sister's kind of upset with me since She's been staying at my house and I told her I was going to take care of her but I haven't been able to because she just has way too many kids. It's so much work. I am always exhausted. I do not want any more kids. Oh, oh my. Oh, I don't know how I'm supposed to process this. Uh, you're going to want to sit down. Oh geez, wow. Uh, this was an unexpected twist. Um, well, you see, we do have your lab results back, and I have really good news for you. Oh, yay! I was so worried it's a terminal illness or something, but if it's just like maybe food poisoning, then whew! Oh, goodness, no, it is definitely not a terminal illness, and I do hope you live a long and wonderful life. Um, I do have the results here for you, and I'm going to share it with you and your girls, okay? Oh, yes, it's totally fine. Feel free to share my results in front of my kids. You know, I prepped them the entire time. They are well prepared. Plus, Miss Royal is a teenager now. Oh, I really, really hope everything is good news because I've been so worried for my mom. Uh, what's the result, doctor? Just give it to me rough, doctor. You don't have to sugarcoat it. You know what I think it is? I think it's food poisoning because my husband's a bad cook and he's been cooking a lot lately. All right, I won't waste any more time. So based on your blood test and your lab results here, you are pregnant. Congratulations. Frequent urination and nausea uh, are all signs of pregnancy. So as soon as you told me your symptoms, I already had my doubts. What? P -p 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 pregnant? Uh, are you sure? <gasps> what? Really? Mom's pregnant? Oh no, not again. I think one little sister is enough. I don't want to babysit babies. Oh yes, the blood test doesn't lie. You are definitely very, very pregnant. Uh, it's this though right here. Oh my gosh, I was really not expecting this. Are you sure? Are, are you 100% sure, doctor? Yay! There's a baby in mommy's tummy. That way I'll have a little sister to play with. Yay! Because big sister never wants to play with me. All she talks about is boys nowadays. Wait, wait, wait. This can't be right. Are you sure, doctor? Can't we just do another blood test in case this results are wrong? Ugh, okay. Um, I have another alternative here. What we can do is we can have a early pregnancy ultrasound for your baby. 
Oh yes, an ultrasound so that you can see everything in my stomach? Yes, that could prove that I'm not pregnant. Ooh, so we can see inside mommy's stomach? Are we going to be able to see the burger that she ate earlier? Uh, no silly, we're just going to be able to see if mom is really pregnant. Oh my gosh. Okay, just lie down right here and be comfortable. Are you ready? Yes, doctor. Alright, so the screen is just right behind you. You can just turn your head to look at the screen. Yay, this is my favorite part. I love doing ultrasounds with mommy. Alright, so let me use my wand here. You might feel a bit of discomfort, but don't worry. We're just trying to locate the baby. Is that mommy's stomach? Uh-huh. Wow, you can really see a lot inside. Where's the hamburger? Uh, I don't even know what I'm looking at, doctor. Is that a baby or is that just the food that I ate earlier for lunch today? Oh, it's still here. I'm trying to get the perfect spot. When I was a baby, I was inside my mommy's stomach like this too. But I think it's because you just got pregnant a few weeks. So right now, the baby is really, really tiny and small. Oh, I think I have a good spot right here. And we should be able to see your baby just right about now here. Uh, I don't really know what I'm looking at. That kind of like looks like the food I ate earlier. Sorry, doctor, not to be rude or anything, but do you have it in color? It's kind of like old to be watching stuff in black and white these days, you know? Mm, interesting, interesting. Oh my, oh, oh dear. Oh, oh, oh wow. What is it, doctor? You're kind of making me worried. Okay, I have a good shot here. Oh, this is in color-ish. Oh, I think this spot is the best spot here. Oh yeah, mom, this is a good spot. See, you can see you're pregnant when you look here because you can see, see the baby. They're still really small and tiny right now though. <gasps> oh my god, it's true. Mom, you really are pregnant. Oh my gosh, am I getting another little sister? But wait a minute, I'm a little confused. Why do I see uh, one, two, three babies? Uh, am I seeing like a triple or something? <gasps> I guess it's true, I really am pregnant. Oh, I was just telling my sister the other day that she has way too many kids and now here I am pregnant. Uh -oh. But wait, why do I see three? Oh no, our house is gonna be so different from now on. How are we gonna take family vacations? And I'm gonna have to babysit more kids? Yes, I was really shocked because I thought it was just one baby based on your lab results, but it looks like you are having multiples. I believe um, triplets. <gasps> Does that mean that we're gonna be getting three new babies? Am I getting a baby brother? Or a baby sister? <gasps> or both? Doctor, are you playing a trick on me? Is this a joke? Am I on like a reality TV show? Am I really having triplets? Oh no, congratulations. This is definitely not a joke. You are having triplets. That's one, two, three babies. Oh, it's triple the joy. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Don't worry, don't worry, I'm here if you ever need anything. It might seem overwhelming at first, but this is truly a blessing. Trust me. I know, I know. Thank you, doctor. I guess I just need some time mm -hmm. to process all of this. Understandable. We're gonna need to get mm -hmm. three cribs. Mm -hmm. Oh, our life is just going mm -hmm. to change completely. Oh, yes. I'm gonna have to tell my husband. Yes. I'm sure he'll be shocked, but later I'm sure he'll be ecstatic. Yay! Now I won't have to play by myself anymore. With three babies, we can play tag. So when are the babies coming out? <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. But right now the babies are still too small. They still have to do a little bit more growing in mommy's tummy before they can come out to see the world. Uh, I really want them to come out soon because Big Sister never wants to play with me. Every time I ask her if she wants to draw or play house, she never wants to play with me anymore. Oh no, don't be sad. That's okay, you're gonna have three new siblings to play with soon. You just have to wait a little bit longer. Yeah, that's true, I can't wait. I hope I'm gonna have three new baby sisters. Because I don't really like boys. If we have any boys, we can give them away. I only want baby sisters, mommy, please. 
Oh no, I have to babysit babies in the future, triplets, and I also have to babysit Violet. Are you okay? Are you feeling sick or something? Or why is your eyes so red? Uh, are you crying? No, no, I'm fine. Don't mind me. These are probably just happy tears. <gasps> but you know what? We're still gonna have to tell Dad. I wonder how Dad is going to take the news. And that's how I found out I'm pregnant. Um, and with triplets. So that's the full story. <gasps> oh, oh, it's a lot to digest. Honey, honey, are you okay? Do you need to lie down? You are turning quite green there. Oh, I guess that explains why you didn't eat any sushi tonight. You're pregnant. <gasps> and it's with triplets? That's one, two, three babies? Oh. <clears throat> oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh dear, oh my. Um, I think I'll just leave you two to uh, work out your relationship. <laughs> I'll go back to my table. Uh, I think it's about time we head home now. Hi there, miss. Could we please get the bill? I think my husband has had uh, enough tonight. Hi there. Oh, hi. Your table, the bill has already been paid for, so no worries. The table next to you paid your bill when they paid their bills earlier. So you don't have to worry about it. It's all paid. Wait, what? The table next to us paid our bill for us? Oh, wow, that's such a surprise. Why? It is the least that we can do. I am so sorry for all the trouble my boys caused. We took it earlier. It happened like this. Okay, I think I've had enough. I think it's time to get the bill, please. Hi. Hi there, yes. Oh, hi, are you looking for the bill? Sure, I can be right back with your bill. Um, actually, can you please combine our bill with that table over there next to ours as well? Oh, of course, combine one bill together. Sure, I'll be right back. Here, ma'am, here is your bill. I combined it with the other table. Perfect, thank you so much. Let's see how much. <gasps> oh my goodness. Wow, that is a big bill. Oh dear, dear, dear. This is why we can't afford to eat out anymore. Mom, are you okay? You're looking kind of green. Is the bill really expensive? What's that smell? Something smells really bad. Oh, I think we need to change little sister's diaper. Oh. We better head out soon because she is really starting to smell bad. Oh, I am exhausted. Having dinner with a newborn baby and triplets and a teenager is not easy. What a night it has been. And it's been such an expensive night. I am ready to go home now. Ma'am, this is why we never get to go out for nice dinners anymore because my little brothers are such a handful. OMG. Hey, what did we do? I thought we were really well behaved tonight, right? Yeah, I thought we were on our best behavior. Weren't we really good tonight, big sister? Right, mom? And that was what happened. We already got the bill for you and your husband while you were getting checked up by that doctor there. Oh, thank you so much. That's so very sweet of you, but you shouldn't have. I do really appreciate it then. Thank you again so much. Sorry for splashing water in your husband's face earlier. Oh, and sorry that we were playing frisbee with a plate and hit him in the head. Oh, it's okay, boys. Oh, are you boys triplets? Yes, yes, these are my boys. They are triplets. And let me tell you, they are a lot of trouble. Uh -oh. <gasps> I'm also having triplets, I guess. Is this my future? <sighs> so, I know how you feel, but uh, it's kind of late, hey? You guys walked all the way here to my house and you had such a long night. I know you guys must be tired. Why don't you go home and uh, rest? Nah, it's okay. I'm feeling really energetic actually right now. All the adrenaline has gotten to my head. Yeah, but I, I think you must be really tired from all that crying, right, punk girl? Why don't you go home and get some rest and, and really help to clear your head? Yeah, I'm just trying to say anything I can say right now to get my friends to go home since my parents are going to be home any minute now. You know, I'm just scared to go home and sleep because like, what if I have another dream? 
What do I dream about another wedding, you know? I don't think that's gonna happen. And you need to sleep sometimes. You should go home and rest, you know? That broken heart needs a rest, a good night's sleep. Oh, hey, I love this show. Maybe I can just finish this episode. We can go home after this episode. <laughs> it's so good. Yo, that's an hour episode. Don't you guys think it's kind of like getting late? Hey, yo, open the door. Oh my god, what now? Oh, my, my, my. Look who it is. It's the cheater himself. You know, he's probably here to beg for punk girl's forgiveness. Ugh. Oh my gosh, what? Why is he here? Don't open the door for him. We don't want to talk to you. Yo, I can explain. Let me explain. And open up, man. It's really cold. Punk boy and cool left are at my house now? <gasps> oh my gosh, and my parents are on the way home. What am I gonna do? Do I let them in? Do I just like tell them to go away? What do I do? I don't wanna talk to you. There's nothing to explain. I saw everything with my own eyes. <laughs> go away. I don't wanna talk to you. Come on, open the door! It's a misunderstanding! Let me explain! Sorry! No boys allowed here! You can't come in! You're not allowed! We don't want to hear your excuses, okay? Just go away already! We're not opening the door for you! My mom and dad are literally driving home right now! And if they come home right now, oh my gosh, they're gonna run into my friends! And then I'm gonna get in big trouble! Yo man, seriously, open the door! I seriously need to use the washroom. Just let us in for five minutes. We're not leaving until you open the door. Please. And one of us really, really, really needs to use the washroom. It doesn't look like they're leaving. What should we do? I guess we could open the door for them for just a little bit. For five minutes. Come on, man. Hey, yo. This isn't cool. Just let us in. I need to talk and explain to my girlfriend. Oh, the nerve. Him coming to beg for forgiveness after he cheated on you in front of everyone? <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's not fair. Just let me explain. Yeah, come on. Just open the door for us, please. Seriously, Miss Royale. Just open this door already. I really need to use the washroom. Oh, I don't think I can hold it in or go back to the party. Just let us in. Yo, we are not leaving. Either you girls let us in or we're gonna stand here and we're gonna strike all night. Come on, man. It's really cold outside and we walked really far to get here. Please, just let us in. <laughs> it is pretty cold outside right now since it's nighttime and all. Maybe we can just let them in for a little bit. But even if we let you in, I don't want to hear what you have to say. <laughs> <gasps> they're saying that they're not gonna leave unless I let them in. Oh my gosh, what do I do? What if my parents come home right now? I'm not supposed to have anyone over, let alone some boys over right now. Calm down, girl. Calm down. You need to breathe and take a chill pill. I'm sure they're just bluffing with us. If we just let them stay there for a few more minutes, they'll probably get cold and bored and they'll probably just leave on their own. Uh, are you sure about that? I mean, they look pretty determined to come in. Don't worry about it. Just let them stay out there. We don't want to see them or talk to them right now anyways. Eventually, they're going to have to leave on their own. Punk girl, please, just let me come in and explain. I can explain everything, please. Should I, like, just hear him out? No, no, I can't, I can't. I always fall for that pretty face, but I know that he cheated on me because I saw it myself. Okay, you don't have to let Rocker Boy in, but at least let me in. I didn't do anything, and I really need to use the washroom. Yo, thanks for throwing me under the bus, dude. Oh, come on, girls. Just let us in. Oh, fine, fine, fine. It doesn't look like you boys are going to leave if I don't let you in. You can come in for just a little bit, okay? Ugh, hold on. Oh, big sister, you're not supposed to have any boys over. Your friends are over at our place, and you told mommy that you weren't going to have anyone over. Now you have boys and your friends. Hey, wait a minute. Correction here. I told mom that I wasn't going to invite any of my friends over or invite any boys over. I didn't invite them. They came on their own, so loophole. All right, hold on. Let me open the door. 
Oh my god, finally! Took you long enough. Okay, come in and say whatever you need to say, and then you have to leave. I'm not supposed to have anyone over right now, so just like hurry up. Oh, oh, oh. I got nothing to say to nobody, but I really have to use the washroom. Oh, I don't think I can hold it in much longer. Oh, where's your washroom? Is it this way? No, or is it that way? Uh. <laughs> What's your problem? Yo, this isn't funny, man. It's torture. Where is your washroom, please? I really, really need to go right now. Oh my gosh, I hope you're not gonna make a mess in my washroom because then when my parents get home, they're gonna make me clean it up. <sighs> Fine, the washroom is just upstairs. Oh, I can't hold it in. Oh, oh, oh gotta try my best. Squeeze. Oh man, I think I ate one too many pizzas earlier. Okay, where's your washroom? I really need to use the toilet. Oh my gosh, what is that smell? Ew, you are literally stinking up my entire house. Um, the washroom is down the hall and up the stairs. Ugh, just hurry up and go already. Okay, down the hall, up the stairs. Cool. Hey, it's not my fault, okay? You're the one that didn't open the door earlier. Anyways, thanks a lot. Alright, just, just go, just this way. Alright, okay, down the hall, up the stairs. And at least spray the washroom after you're done, okay? Alright, finally. Now it's finally my chance to explain. Please, you have to hear me out, punk girl. You better not make up any lies. You better beg for forgiveness. I don't even want to hear it. I know it's just excuses and excuses and lies. I don't want to fall for your trap. No, seriously. It's just a misunderstanding. You have to listen to me. Nah, -uh, not listening. I can't believe the nerve with you. I went to get us something to drink and you went and kissed another girl? Okay, look, it was a misunderstanding, okay? I don't even like Swag. Not that way. She's like a sister to me. Like, we do not vibe at all. Mm -hmm. I don't even believe you. You two were vibing just fine since you were kissing Swag and all. <laughs> What? No way! I wasn't kissing Swag. Oh, we do not like each other that way. She's totally not my type. Mm-hmm. She sure looked like she was your type when your mouth was all over her mouth. Uh -oh. I can't believe you have the nerve to stand here and say that it was all a misunderstanding right now. <laughs> She hears everyone in the background. But if I don't pick up, it'll be too suspicious. I have to pick up. Okay, just hear me out, okay? I really wasn't kissing Swag. <laughs> I don't want to hear your excuses. I don't want to hear you out. Can I have everyone's attention, please? Please be really quiet. I think my mom's calling and I'm not supposed to have anyone over right now. So I'm going to pick up this call, but shh. Hey, don't cover your ears. Come on, just hear me out. If there really was something between me and Swag, would I chase you all the way here just to try to explain things with you? <sighs> this is really annoying, but maybe we should hear him out. Shh! Is anyone even listening to me? My mom's calling, guys. Please just be quiet. I'm covering my ears. I don't need to hear any of your excuses because I saw it with my own eyes. La 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 la, I can't hear you, la la la. Oh jeez, punk girl, that's childish. Why don't we just hear him out since he's here anyways? Let's see what excuses he's gonna give. Oh my god, nobody is listening to me. You guys are making so much noise. If I pick up the phone, my mom might hear you. What do I do? Um, big sister. Are you gonna pick up the phone? Cause mom seems to be calling back. Here goes nothing. Hello? Oh, hi mom. Oh, did you call earlier? Sorry, I was in the washroom. Hey, you went in the washroom? Lying's not good. You're gonna look like Pinocchio. It's just a harmless little white lie, okay? So shh, be quiet already. Um, yes mom? What's up? Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> girl, I'm here for you. Makes me Do you cry. need another tissue? Aww. Huh? What? Is it noisy? Oh, it's just the TV. Uh, I like to really turn up the volume. Be quiet, you guys. Huh? Uh, nothing, nothing, not you. I I I'm just trying to find the remote control to turn down the volume. 
Trust me, even if we weren't together, Swag would be the last person I would ever want to be with. She's not my type. Guys, I know you're having a really hard conversation right now, but I need you guys to please be quiet for just a <laughs> Yeah, right. After I came back with drinks for us, I saw you and Swag holding each other and kissing and it was horrible. I can't believe you did this to me in front of all of our friends too. Uh -oh. oh man, no one's listening to me. I can't get them to be quiet. Yeah, about that, that's completely a misunderstanding. And that's why I chased you all the way here. I ran after you because I wanted to explain to you. What you saw isn't what you saw. Huh? Hi mom. Uh, yeah, I'm still here. I still can't find the remote control. Sorry. Okay, then explain to me. So, I was just saying hi to Swag and of course, you know, my hair's long and she was wearing these really big earrings. So her earrings got caught in my hair and I kind of got stuck to her. Sorry mom, I, I can't seem to find the remote control. So, um, the TV's a little loud. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You're gonna be home soon? Uh -huh. uh, what? Are you trying to tell me that your hair was stuck in her earrings? And when I saw you kissing her, that was you trying to get your hair unstuck from her earrings? Uh, are you trying to make me believe that that's actually a real story or something? But that's really what happened. My hair was stuck to her earrings. You can ask Swag yourself or you can ask everyone there at the party. They'll tell you. Oh my gosh, so wait, you weren't cheating on me? You were just kind of stuck to Swag because your hair got stuck on her earrings? Oh yay, I am so relieved. Oh, I knew you weren't the cheater type rocker boy. Oh, now you guys can make up. Uh-huh, th that was the TV. Um, There's a scene right now where someone is cheering. <laughs> What? No, there's no one over. That's really just the TV. <laughs> Anyways, why don't you guys drive safely and I'll see you soon. <laughs> Is mom and dad gonna be home soon? That means you're gonna be in big trouble, big sister, since your friends are here and boys are here. Shh, I will have my friends out in time, okay? Just be quiet and when mom and dad comes home, don't say anything. This is gonna be our secret. You'll be home in about five minutes? Um, okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. I doubted you. It's okay. Let's go in for a makeup hug. I can't believe that I doubted you. Oh, all this time, your hair was just stuck on Swag's earrings. I can't believe I misunderstood you two. Oh, I'm so sorry, boo. Oh, that's okay. It just means that you care. And I'm glad that you care. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Oh, I just love a happy ending. And I'm so glad that everything was just a misunderstanding. Since we didn't get to slow dance earlier, maybe we can slow dance now. <laughs> Even if there's no music? Yep. Oh, you guys are so cute. You guys always bring tears to my eyes. <laughs> I'm sorry you were upset today. It's okay, I'm sorry that I totally misunderstood you. It's okay, boo. Oh, oh wow, they already made up. Oh, why didn't you guys make up earlier when my mom was still on the phone? You guys were so loud. Oh, don't stop with one slow dance, do another one. You guys are so cute together. Uh, um, no, 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 no. Uh, let me through, let me through. Excuse me, coming through, coming through. Oh, oh. Oh, what are you doing, Miss Royale? Sorry, sorry, I have to get between you guys here, but no more slow dance. I think it's getting late. Um, why don't you guys go home and rest, you know? It's been a really long night, right? Oh yeah, it is pretty late now. How about I walk you home since it might not be safe outside for you to walk home by yourself? Huh? Shall we walk home together? Oh, that's so sweet of you. Of course, I would love that. Right, okay, good, good. Okay, you two. <laughs> Let's go then. Out the door before it gets even darker. Bye now. Time to leave. Come on, guys. The door's this way. All right already. Hurry, hurry. Oh, she's totally rushing us. Oh, by the way, thank you so much for having me over. And I am so sorry that I kind of used all of your tissue. That's okay. Just have... Have a good night. Bye now. 
Everybody leave, please. All right, bye. Skate boss, are you coming? I think we should all leave together. We have to walk you home too. It's gonna be dark if you leave by yourself later. Bye everyone. You really need to leave right now before mom and dad comes home. Yeah, skate boss, isn't it kind of late? Do you need to go home? Ah, uh, okay. I guess I should leave too. You guys can walk me home as well. I don't want to walk by myself later. It was a really fun night though. You guys should all come back some other time when mom allows. Okay, bye Violet. Bye Miss Royale. Yep, okay, bye. Have a good night. See you later. Go, 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 go. Hurry, get out. Uh, did she slam the door in our face? Ow, did she just push me out the door? Jeez, rude. Bye. Bye now. Oh, good, they're gone. Finally. That was a close call because mom and dad are going to be home literally any minute now. Oh, looks like my parents are home. All right, honey. You don't have to worry anymore. We're home now. Yay, mom and dad are home. Oh, that was a close one. Good thing your friends just left because mom and dad just came home. Wow, I can feel my life flash before my eyes because my parents just got home as soon as my friends just left. <sighs> if they had left just five minutes later, I would have totally been caught. Well, you know, tonight seems to be my lucky night. Thank the heavens that my friends left just in time. I gotta do some prayers later. Thank you, thank you. Hi girls, we're home. How was your night? Hi mom, hi dad. How was your date night? How was dinner? <laughs> Welcome back. Oh, it was interesting. Uh, excuse me, I really need a place to sit down uh, somewhere to gather my thoughts. Oh, I'm tired. Oh my, what's with the house? Whoa. It's a complete mess here. There's tissues all over the floor. Why are there so many tissues? Oh my goodness. Was there a tornado while we left or something? Just look at this mess. Ew, there's tissue all over the floor and my couch. Uh -oh. Girls, what's going on here? Was there a tissue monster that raided the house? Why is the house in such a mess and all the tissue are used? Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, about that, you see. So I guess I was watching a soap opera and it got really emotional, I guess. Um, and uh, I guess I cried a lot. <laughs> Anyways, enough about me. How was your night, Dad? Did you hear any um, interesting or good news? Oh, uh, well, um, uh, my head's a blank right now. Uh, talk about news. Um, yes, yes, I heard the news. And that is exactly why I need to sit down. Okay, I'm kind of confused. So, did you hear the news or not? Mom, did you tell him about the news? About your pregnancy? And about the triplets? Yes, it's been such a crazy night, but I did manage to tell him the good news. I guess he's just needing some extra time to process everything. The one... Two... <laughs> Three babies? Oh my goodness. Dad, are you okay? You're kind of sitting there mumbling to yourself. Uh, okay, maybe I should just give you some space. Oh, I need to sit down as well. My legs are killing me. Oh, and don't tell me I'm going to have to clean this up after. Oh no, you don't have to worry about that, Mom. Since I made the mess, I'll clean it up. You just go ahead and rest. Alright, I guess I'll go to the bathroom, have a bath, change into PJs, and head off to bed. Big sister, I just thought of something. Didn't you have a friend earlier that went upstairs to use the bathroom? Uh -oh. I don't remember him leaving. So, isn't he still upstairs in the bathroom right now? Huh? Say what now? I have a friend in the bathroom. Oh my god, I do have a friend in the bathroom. I totally forgot about Cool Lev. I let him in earlier because he had to use the bathroom. Ah! Wait, Mom, huh? you, you can't use the washroom. Huh? You can't go there. What's going on, Miss Royale? Are you hiding something? Is someone in the bathroom upstairs? Um, no, of course not. I, I just have to use the washroom. Uh, you're right. Oh, oh, my stomach. I need to use the toilet. Oh, okay, honey. Are you sure you're okay? 
Uh huh. I'm just fine. See, I th I think I just need to use the toilet. Oh oh, I really need to go really badly, and it might smell. So oh oh dear, are you okay, honey? Did you eat something bad for dinner or something? Don't worry, mom. I'm okay. I just really need to use the toilet, and since it might really smell, why don't you stay here and not go upstairs? Uh okay. Anyways, gotta go. Alright, sweetheart, I'll wait for you here. Let me know if you need anything. Ugh. Uh, my stomach hurts as well, so I I'm going upstairs to the toilet too. Hmm, those girls are acting really strange. Something tells me that there's something fishy going on. Uh -oh. We're gonna need to get one, two, three cribs. We're gonna have triplets. Ugh. Honey, don't you think the girls are acting kind of weird? Like they are hiding something from us? That means we need to make another college fund. I'm gonna need to get another job. Oh, do we need a bigger house? Honey, honey, can you hear what I'm saying? Uh-oh. I guess I'll let you be to keep processing the information. Ugh. Ugh. What? Am I sitting on something? Ow, ow! What was I sitting on? Huh. Whose earrings is this? It's definitely not my earrings. Hmm. Maybe I'll go ask Miss Royale whose earrings these are. Press that subscribe button and ring the bell. That way when a video is released, you'll be the first to watch it. Watch more of my toy videos by going to the search button and pressing in Minky Toys and Dolls. Or just Minky Toys. Lots of fun doll videos for you here.